Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to make a group column index column chart using simple and easy tools in Origin Pro. Let's get started. So first of all, you can see that this is a grouped index column chart. There are two things special about it. Number one, it is uh, having a secondary y-axis, which is difficult to do. And the second thing is that it has categories below it and it has subcategories below that those categories. Also, you can also make stack charts, but if you have more data, I will show you how you can do that in easy and simple way. So I will move ahead toward the Origin Pro now. So I've uh, sorted all the data first already so that you can it will be easier for you and will save much of our time. So this is the speed and say less than 80. This is the model of the car and this is the torque and the power produced by the car. So first of all, what you have to do is just select the uh, data that you want to plot. Leave down the categories alone. You don't have to do anything. Also, you can see that these are showing as unsorted. If you click right click here, you will have an option as set as categorical. If you uncheck this one, it will go away. And if you check uncheck this one, it will also go away. But the thing is that these are some values, which is the data values. That's why it's showing something like this. So don't worry about it. So first of all, select this one, go to plot and select grouped columns indexed. So once you select group column index, you will have a graph and it will prompt you for the data. Now it shows that data columns are these ones, torque and power, right? Exactly. Now you need to have a group columns. Which columns do you want to group? So I want to group A and B. So I will go ahead and select this one, say speed first, and then I will go ahead and select the model first. Now you can see that in the preview menu, you will see the speed is coming down and the models are coming up. So if you want to change the position, you can just select this one and click here and the model will shift from top to bottom. Now the model comes down and the speed comes up and they are all categorically defined now. Click OK and you are done for the first step. Now, as you can see that there are some things that we need to tweak a little bit and it is just showing torque. It doesn't show torque and power uh, in the uh, in the axis title, which is OK. You can manage that. First of all, we are just going to play with this one and just show you the first part of the process, how you are going to work with this. Let's say we are going to use this one and something like this. Now, the first one shows the torque and the second one shows the power. OK, also you can see that these legends are not clear. So what you can do is select them and you will see there's an option like this and you can turn them around and move them around 90 degrees and you can easily do that. Now I will press control and scroll down and then you can see that your graph is not in the position. OK, just right click here and select pay fit page to layers. When you, once you do that, it will ask you how much border do you want to leave from the sides? I, let's say I say two, two centimeters at least. So it will do like this and you can press OK and everything will be within the borders now. Now you can see that it has two uh, around two cent two centimeters borders, let's say two centimeters. And then then that's it about it. So now you can see that these are two data. One is torque and one is power. Now, if you want to make them stack, just simply hover over these bars or just click once and you will see this small option which shows column stack. Now, if you click on this one, you will click on stack column. So what will happen? First, the torque will come and then the power will come and they will stack upon each other. OK, now if you want to change this one from stack column to 100 percent stack column, just click on this one. It will show you stack column and 100 percent stack column. Now, at this point, you have something uncommon, which is that these uh, the area is not left for the graph. So where do you put your legends? So, for example, if I put my legend here and if I go here and say fit paste layers, now what will happen that there will be a much of a extra white space here, which we don't want. So in order to avoid that, you can click here on the legends, go to legend options and change the position from vertical to horizontal. Now, once you do this, you can see that your uh, legend bars are all in horizontal position. OK, at this point, I will zoom out a little bit by pressing control and scroll for the mouse by reducing the size a little bit. Then you can see if you click here, it will have an option to move. I will move my legend from here up till to the top over here. So now once I go here, I will put it on the top and then leave it like this. Now simply again, fit page to layers. Now I will keep at least, let's say four centimeters each, let's say, and just direction is both from height and width. That means it will keep the uh, same distance from height and width. Now this is done and you can see that the graph is now in pretty much a good shape. Now if you want to change the color for these graphs, it is easy to do that. Now select this one. And once you click on this one, there's one problem that you cannot see that 
it should show these bars as power and torque but in fact it is not showing like that so what we are going to do is i'm going to quickly move this one over there so that we can see this graph there and then we're going to go back so now we have this panel here what we are going to do is that we're going to go here and i'm sorry this is a little bit slow because i'm recording from a uh, team viewer desktop that's why it's a little bit like this so apologies for that now we are going to see that there are fill colors which says none and all that. So I'm going to select this one and select, uh, okay, little bits. Okay, I'm going to select this one and say, select this one and change it to paint. Okay, let's say it's paint now. Okay, now if I change from paint fill color and select a different color, let's say like this. Now it has two colors. One is for the torque, one is for the power. If I select this one, you will easily see that your legend has changed now. So what you can do is now select this one, select this legend and delete this. Either press Ctrl plus L, okay, or you can just simply go here or uh, graphing options or let's say graph options, graph options, go to legend and you will have an option to reconstruct or update the legend which is Ctrl plus L. Okay, now I'll just change this, uh, this one from this format into... A little bit of a horizontal one and also you can reduce the size of the bars here so if you click once here you will see this option coming on the top of it you can just reduce the bars and simply select this one select this one and move it onto the top now if you see that this is a little bit too uh let's say this is too smaller in width i want to make it equal in size so just press ctrl a and you will see that there are small markers here now you can stretch it like this one it will stretch along the uh, uh, axis and it will look much better and uh, more more clear to you guys so if you want to increase the size now you can easily do that now coming towards the point at which we want to change the data points and want to change uh, one of these power axes along on the uh, right axis so what you can do is for example as you can see in this data manager which you can see easily over here so this is the object manager just say we want to move this power to the y-axis so select this one right click and say move plot to the second y-axis so once you click on this one your graph will somehow look like this so don't worry for that don't nothing happened so now what happened that all the values are like this so first of all you are going to select this one and say rescale axis so once you rescale axis, all the values will be within the margin. Similarly, you're going to move them and drag them down here so that they are at appropriate level of axis. Similarly, move them from here to here. They are now on their proper position. And now you can click once here and you will have an option, let's say for this one, which is axis takes time. Once you click here, you will have an option for in and out. Whether you want whatever you want, you can just click on out to just keep a consistency with the right one. Now let's just move them a little bit to the other side so that they have a little bit space here. Move this one a little bit here like this and here we go. Now we are going to play with this one and work how to fix this one. Now double click, just go here, double click here and it will show a new option which is called the plot details page properties. Okay now once you are here, rem remember there are two things, layer one which is torque and layer two which is power. If I expand these layers a little bit more you will see how they look like so now if i click on the graph tool they will have different options every time i click on each level for example now you can see you have four options here five options if you click on the layer you will have different options if you click on this layer internal layer you have different options so be careful with that one so click on the graph tool go to the layers option then simply click column bar gap box gap across layers so if you click on this one it will automatically come here but see these ones are overlapping right now so we are going to fix this one also just go to the layer one now again go to the spacing option and then below here gap between subsets just make it zero now once you make it zero they will all be equally aligned will have equal and good amount of space here press ok select this one bring it down and move it to here now once you are done with this one i pro I normally like not to have a margin for this one so I just go ahead and press 0 and have no margin for this one then I will select right click and say fit page to layers and this time I don't want an extra border so I will click on 2 and press ok now if you notice all my graph is in a single data 
But if you don't like this color graph, you can just simply click on this one. You will also now have an option here, select this one. And you can choose whatever color you want. Let's say if I want to go with this color, you can easily choose that. If I want to go with some another, some another color, I will select this one and choose another color. It's really easy and simple and you can easily tabulate anything that you want to do. Now the things comes when you want to edit this graph. So right click, copy, graph as a picture. So once you copy the graph as a picture, I will go back to PowerPoint again. I will press another slide here so that you can easily see what happens. I will delete this one and I will paste it here. Now one thing about this one is that once you put your data here, the good thing about this graph is that you can, some things if you don't know how to edit or manage, you can easily manage something like this. For example, if I press Control, Shift and G, you will have an option which says this is an imported picture, not a group. Do you want to convert it to a Microsoft Office drawing object? Okay, this is one. Press Control, Shift and G. The other way to do is right click, go to group options and ungroup. So once you click on ungroup, you will have a same prompt. You click on yes, and then everything will be a separate thing. Now if I click on this one, it will be a separate object. If you cl click on this one, it will be a separate object. So for instances, sometimes it's difficult for you guys to do or manage things. You can easily manage something like this. Let's say I, I will type something and I will do like this, for example. Now for example, okay. Also one, one problem with this one is that once you uh, add this graph to Microsoft Word, it creates a different uh, thing. So what you can do is you can bring it here, convert them into a object and then paste as enhanced meta file. So just copy this one and then go here or let's go here and remove all, go to home options, paste, space special and enhance meta file. So this option is when you are copying the graphs from PowerPoint into Microsoft Word for higher picture quality. For reference, you can also watch my previous videos. I will link down in the description so you can check them out. So that was it for today. I hope you guys like this video and I hope you understand how to do the secondary Y axis in group column charts. And if you still don't understand how to do it, please leave your comments down below and I will get back to you. I hope you guys like this video. If you haven't watched my previous videos, do watch them. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave your comments down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.